media advertiser to content creator, Beatrice Thau is a woman that wears many hats. Growing up, she wanted to become a doctor, but though her career took a different turn, Beatrice is glad about the role she plays in shaping people's lives. I am blessed to carry several hats. One of the hats that I carry is I'm a media advertising professional, um, something that I've done for the past uh, decade. I help um, clients uh, build awareness for their brands, that is both offline and um, online. And I, am a, I would say I'm a passionate speaker. I speak a lot on personal development and personal growth. Uh, and uh, I also even speak on how you, anyone can work on their goals. And in line with um, speaking, I also create content. Uh, I create content uh, among other pillars. I tell people just start. Um, I also tell people to work on their goals and I also encourage people to work on their personal development and uh, the last hat that I, I wear is I, am a, I call myself a goal getter creator and in that is I help people to work on their goals, their personal goals, their personal dreams they have. I don't want um, everyone to do that so I help people to work on their goals. A lot of the goal sessions that I do are mainly uh, done online. However, last year I did my first uh, physical um, goal session and I realized there's something that happens when you meet people physically. Mm -hmm. And so actually in the next couple of weeks, I plan to host another physical um, goal session because a lot of the people have been telling me, Beatrice, we need physical sessions. So um, for me, it has been online, but now I'm pushing myself to do more of the physical goal sessions so I can actually practically help people um, to work and narrow down on the goals that they have for themselves. Teamwork and support are amongst the key elements of success and Beatrice and her partners understand this very well. I've been with Beatrice uh, throughout her journey since two years ago when she started on the goal setting. And uh, I've been her accountability partner because at that time she was also transitioning from formal employment to be in a place where she wants to exercise her giftings in, on, on goal setting and the PR and stuff like that. So seeing what she has done right now with the goal uh, setting session, the, the work which she has put there, the research which she has done, it's something which has really impacted many of us. Uh, it's been a game changer. It has, it's a transformation for me, and I believe it's also a transformation for other people. Bitfees has also organized a lot of uh, sessions on goal, se on, on goal setting, both virtually and also uh, physical. And from that, I've seen what people uh, have to say about it. There's a lot of change. Uh, personally, uh, there's self-discovery with the program. Uh, there's a lot of growth. Uh, I'm emerging uh, to be a better person. It's been two years. I'm at, I'm at a different place from where I was from last year. I was just having a session with Beatrice the other day, and uh, as I said, the program is also creating a lot of growth and there's also a lot of uh, growth on her side. She started already, and I challenged her to now move to the corporates because she has what it takes. She has it. So just start. I am a mother, a wife, and a marketer by professional. And I have a passion for young kids, especially the African child and I enjoy um, living life, let me say, with a big spoon. Actually, I've known Beatrice all my life. We got to know each other since the years of primary school, and uh, we actually were in the same church. But back in the day, Beatrice was rather shy, I'll say, and she used to prefer being in the background. And that's the Beatrice I know. So the Beatrice I know today is totally different because I've come to know her professionally in the last two years, and I must say, I'm so impressed by her progress. And it's like a flower that has bloomed. And um, she's now living in her element. And I think that's what really attracted me to her. So getting used to somebody you've grown up with, and then all of a sudden they blossom to be this amazing human being, uh, having such 
good content, having been sure of themselves and they're able to just impact the world. It's quite interesting. And yeah, that's Beatrice uh, for you. What attracted to me to her is the fact that she blossomed, like I said before, and it's her content. So I attended one of our goal setting sessions. It was two years back. And I think at that point I was in a crossroad in my life. I, you know, family was doing okay, work was doing okay, but I felt like there was something missing. Uh, within myself and I kept asking myself, okay, what is that missing aspect? Because if your family and work is working, why was I feeling unsettled? So I just decided to join one of her goal setting uh, sessions just to hear what she had to say. And I think that's where my turning point came because what she made me through do is go through a journey of my childhood, go back to my previous life and my passions growing up. And that's when my bulb was lit again. And I was like, you know what? I think I've been compromising or settling too little about myself and it was about time that I looked inwardly and she helped me go through that journey and go through my life and say, okay, what are those things that I love? What are my passions? And what have been the hindrances of me getting to do the things that I've always wanted to do? So, I mean, being in that session really opened up my mind and it's how naturally she made it seem. You see, you can go to a goal setting session and you feel, you come out feeling having achieved nothing but I think Beatrice is quite um, skilled, very passionate, and very, she has a lot of content, let me say. When you spend a minute with Beatrice, you feel like your life has changed. And I think from that moment, I always reach out to her when I feel like there's something I need to do, there's uh, something I just need to run through. You spend a minute with Beatrice and you just feel like you've, and you gain so much knowledge from her. I mean, she's a small lady, but very mighty. I think she has really good content that anybody in different stages of life can really benefit. From the elderly to the youngest, I think um, she's really put herself into this and she's done a lot of research. She's read a lot of books. I know she's really interacted with many people. And when you experience her, you experience a really something amazing, let me say that. The reception of her work has been quite positive, hence her source of motivation. The reception has been uh, positive uh, in, in the sense that people always want to grow. People want to move from where they are to the next generation. I would say not everyone. So I realized you attract your tribe. So over the years, uh, over the, the, the course that I've done this, I've attracted people who want to do it. Some may come in and just say, let me see what happens. Then they're like, oh my goodness, I do know this thing is very uh, done very professionally. And so for me, I've received a positive response, but I still feel there's room for more. There's room for more people to begin to work on their goals. And that's why what I, one of the things I do to supplement the goal sessions I, uh, I have is to create content so that uh, I'm creating that awareness of personal development and growth and that comes through um, either working on your goals. So I would talk to people about just start. Is that you want to start that business, you want to start that, um, you want to start that project, just take that leap of faith and just um, start. Also, if you're um, working on your goals, what are the things you'll need to do? Is it work on discipline? Is it uh, work on procrastination, which is uh, among the things uh, uh, that, it help, that um, holds a lot of people back from working on um, their goals? So I do that through the content um, uh, that I share on the platforms. And I've seen um, a positive response. Um, I'll share three weeks ago, I think around three weeks ago, um, one of um, the people who follow me wrote me a message on, on, on the video that I had done. I told people, just start. And she told me, um, Beatrice, I actually opened this platform because of the video that you did. And, and so for me, I was like, there's a reception that people are seeing and people are taking action for themselves. And um, that is, inspires me to continue to serve because if I just do that video, I do the goal session, that somebody's life is transformed. I share two stories. I think there's one, um, one of the uh, ladies that I, I help through the, the sessions that I do, she was at a point where she knew she, she, knew she needed to challenge herself. And uh, she knew there's a place she needed to go, but she didn't know where exactly. So because of 
I do the goal sessions. I started another forum where I now help people to work on um, their daily things that they can do every day to get to their goal. One of the lady, uh, I challenged her and I told her, we, we all need to grow. She started reading. And she started, uh, when I'm talking about uh, procrastination and timekeeping, she started doing the things that I was, I was sharing. And I think a week ago, she told me, the person I was uh, previously and the person I am today is totally different. I've now, you know, any, something as simple as even have, uh, reducing on procrastination can cause a great impact on somebody's life. Somebody who has not been maybe actively reading and I encourage her. And, and actually what I do, I also have to, what I teach, I also have to do. Uh, because every other day I, I, I try to make sure that I keep in time to, to study so that I can give more value to uh, my clients. And for her, when she said the transformation, I, you know, transformation does not necessarily have to be size. You know, sometimes we, we know size, that person has transformed. Transformation for her, she told me, was her mindset changed. One of the things that I encourage people is being a community of people who want to grow and to transform their lives. And because I created that particular community, then she she was motivated. And not only did I create that community, I am also motivated because if I'm teaching, I have to show up. And when I show up, they show up. When I see the results in my life, they also see the results in, our li in, in their lives. And we all transform. And so there are, there are many other uh, stories of people who have transformed. Others have even written, um, they would want to be, you know, your goal can even be, you want to be in a relationship. Write it down. You never know. You might just find yourself in the relationship you are writing down and you're working towards. So you can get any um, goal that you desire. And I'm happy that the people who ha have been able to, um, who have passed through the goal sessions or the community that I have created, and they have seen the results and the transformations. Big or small, the key is to transform. While content creation can be as easy as putting a pen to paper or simply starting to type on your laptop, creating a strong and valuable content that attracts relevant traffic to your site is a lot more complicated. When I started the first goal session, I would never have imagined that I would get this far. Uh, when I held the second goal session, which was around January, I had technical challenges. I don't think the people who were in the session um, got to see that uh, but we had a bit of some technical challenges and I remember I told myself after all the work that I've done then the technical challenge happened I I even decided to take a break and I was like after all that work and this happening because I always want when somebody is coming to the session from beginning to end they get to experience you know it's a, like a, a destination you get from A to, 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 to Z and when it didn't happen I actually took a break I said, okay, maybe, maybe this is, you know, somebody says, maybe this is not what I'm meant to, to be doing. And um, my sister told me, you know what, and even as I talk on goals, one of the things that you need to do is get back at it again. And, and, and I like that because then even as I encourage people, I know what they are going through. You work on that goal and along the way, an obstacle comes. Along the way, a, a challenge comes. And for me, what I count as success is having gone through the obstacles and challenges that I have gone through to get to where I am today. I've done more than eight goal sessions. And in those goal sessions, I realized as I'm helping people transform as they work on their goals, I'm also being transformed. Um, certain things I have to work on, uh, you know, I need now to number one, as I teach, I learn more. As I teach, I transform. As I teach, I grow. And for me, I think if I look at myself in December 2022 and the person that I am today, those are two different people. And it's the inner transformation that I see is a success for me. And not only me, but when I see the people transform, that is a success for me. I remember there's uh, one of the uh, participants who had come to the goal session and they told me they wrote a couple, they took time, they wrote a couple of goals for themselves. And she told me, can I tell you, this goal happened, this goal happened, this goal happened. And I realized, oh my goodness, this thing is actually working. It is working. It's not only working on me, but it's working on the people who are attending the goal session. 
that for me is a success. People think goals are automatic. They take time. They need work. They need one to be patient and resilient. Uh, because people see this and are like, I want this today. I want this now. Uh, it, it, then, it, it then causes you to reflect back and say, maybe I needed to be more patient. Because a lot of people have great things that they want to desire, great dreams that they have for themselves. But the only challenge is they want it and they want it now. And remember, dreams take time. The day you plant the seed is not the same day you eat the fruit. And that's about goals. When you have that goal for yourself, it's not the same day that you will um, you will get it. And I think that's a challenge that I have. Because people come in and some people come in and they expect a, diff- a, a transformation uh, immediately. Or to get that goal immediately. Uh, and remember, goal setting is not, what you call it, it's not a must in life. It's not like food. So when you're telling somebody you need to have a goal, you need to have a vision for yourselves. People may, some people feel like um, life is already too much. I don't need to work on. I don't need to work on um, that a goal. So I think it's changing the mindset uh, so that people embrace more about having goals for themselves. I think it's a, that's why I also create a content so that there's a lot of awareness when it comes to. Um, goal setting. A lot has been done, of course, within the various uh, platforms by other people, and I'm happy that I'm among the people who are adding into the knowledge that people need to work on their goals. It's not every day that I wake up and I'm passionate and driven. There are days where I have my low moments. I think one of the low moments I had last year, around, I know it was around October, November, I felt like all the work that I was putting in, I I was not seeing the results. You know, I was hosting the um, the goal sessions. I was going um, online and going on Instagram Live, um, uh, sharing content. And also sometimes when you put in a lot of work, there's an expectation that uh, you you know there will be a, lo- a bumper harvest of uh, many people maybe converting. You know, and um, it didn't it, it didn't happen. But I, I tell you, on that particular day, I was really low. Because I was not seeing, uh, I was not seeing the fruits out of it. But that evening, I received a message. Someone uh, wrote to me a message on Instagram. I, I I don't think she knew I needed that message. She wrote to me and she told me, you know, hi Beatrice, keep doing what you're doing. Because of you, I'm going to start this particular thing and I'm going to work on it. I may not know, I may not know what is lies ahead of me. But I'm going to start that thing. For me, when I got that message, it's something like, you know, it's like lighting a fire all over again. And I rose up and I'm like, this is why I show up. This is why I create the content. This is why I also do the goal sessions. Because I know that people who need to hear this message. And when they are here, when they hear that message, something in them will be stirred up. Um, like for me, when I took that leap of faith and I started creating the content, I took that leap of faith and started doing the goal sessions and seeing that transformation. When I get that type of feedback, I knew I know I'm doing the right thing, and that keeps me going. There is a whole lot involved in creating the right content for consumption, from ideation to publishing to monitoring and optimization. The content creation cycle never ends. For me, my goal is to have as many people work on their goals. And uh, I love one of the coaches that uh, follows me and she tells me, have a number to that. And uh, I know she'll be watching this and I, I'm going to have a number to add that. The number of people who I want to see impacted through the sessions that I do in the next couple of five years. I think for me, it's, um, doing this impacting people on a a uh, bigger scale, um, hosting more um, uh, physical uh, sessions so that people can get, I can get to interact uh, more with the people. And I think, uh, you know, one of the things I say these days is the only way to win is also to collaborate. So collaborating with people who are offering um, uh, similar um, services and seeing how through the goals that I have, they can, uh, it can add value to to them and I can add value uh, from what they do. So it's also giving somebody a holistic view. Maybe somebody is doing something to do with health. 
I can partner with that particular person. So it's more um, collaboration, strategic collaborations that will add value to uh, the sessions that I do. And one of the things I love to do is uh, to speak. So it's also having more platforms where I can give this information. And through those particular platforms, it's transforming more people. I remember I shared about serving. So I think for me, in five years, it's serving many people to work not only on their goals, but to work on themselves. Because I think personal growth and development is key, even as you're working um, on your goals. Somebody has to take a step back and ask themselves, what is the vision I have for myself? Because remember, the vision is almost like the whole, it's a universe. Then the goal is very specific. Uh, so I asked somebody, it could even be, you know those questions we asked during an interview, where do you see yourself in five years? Or where do you see yourself in one year? If you say, um, in the next one year, I want to maybe uh, start a business, that's already a goal. So the next question is, how then do I start that business? Uh, um, you know, and and the beauty why I say that it's good to have a vision, because a vision will tell you. Remember, even as a country, we have a vision, 2030. So that means all of us as, as citizens, we need to have the vision for our lives, because the vision is bigger than ourselves. Once you have that big vision that you have, and it does not have to. I, I want to um, tell anyone who's watching this, it doesn't have to be something big. It can be something small where you start and say, I want to transform my life. I want to change from where I am to where I can get to. Is it going to take a day? No, it's going to take time. But once you have the vision that you have, maybe in the next two years, the next five years, the next 10 years, then you set down into a goal. Is it within my career? Is it within my finances? Is it within my health? Then that will allow you to break it down. Because I tell you, I know when you have a vision, somebody is like, okay, but is that already overwhelming? I, I just want to go to Mombasa. I don't want, and, and maybe that's, that's okay. But start somewhere where you tell yourself, if I'm working on this goal, I'm actually wat- working on myself. I think where people get um, caught up is they want the goal. And including myself, we all want the goal. But I think the most important thing is what will that goal help transform in my life? And if it's going to transform something, then you're willing to give up everything to work towards um, attaining it. I feel a huge sense of pride, to be honest. Um, seeing her blossom, seeing her walk in our element, it's such an amazing feeling. And it also challenges me to say, you know what, if bitches can do it, why can't I? And if she's gone through this journey and she's blossomed to be, to be this amazing woman, anybody can do it. I mean, um, if we are to go through our photos growing up and seeing her be the person she is, seeing myself able to learn from her, it's such an amazing thing because you see the way that those people you fancy, those um, celebrities, I think Beatrice is my celebrity at this moment because I see her LinkedIn profile, I see the kind of content she puts out there, I see the meetings and the forums she attends and I'm like, wow, I need to get to where she is. So. A very deep sense of pride is what I see or what I feel when I think of Beatrice right now. Beatrice, I'm very, very, very proud of you. You keep telling us, just start. And you started, actually. I remember that time before you transitioned from formal employment. There was that fear of the unknown. You made me your accountability partner. And here you are, doing great things, changing lives, transforming lives. You've impacted me in a very big way. I'm on a self-discovery journey because of you. May you continue touching lives. May you reach the nations. And we are here to learn from you. And from you, we also impact others as women. One of the things that I want to encourage anyone who's watching this particular show is that the dream and the goal that you have is yours. Don't allow um, fear doubt to hold you back maybe you have one you have always wanted to start that business maybe you've always wanted to start uh, that project that you have and it's something that has been burning in you I want to encourage you just start where you are start with what you have and do what you can and for me when I started these goal sessions I, I tell you I didn't have everything in mind 
but one of the things I told myself is I only need to start so I want to encourage you just start and uh, everything will come uh, become clearer as you continue so don't allow fear and self-doubt to hold you back take that leap of faith today and start and work towards a dream the dream you have the goal you have is valid um, you can reach out to me on Instagram my handle is uh, being Wikali. you can type and write Beatrice Ithau you can connect with me on LinkedIn my handle is Beatrice Ithau I would love to connect with you engage with you if you have any question related to um, goals or you want to be a part of the goal sessions you can write to me and I'll let you know on when you can uh, join me in the next session so I want to end with just start my journey would not have come this far and I want to say thank you to God. God has been instrumental in every uh, facet of my life. I had wanted to be a doctor, but God had other plans for me. And I want to thank God that he's brought me this far. That through the gift that he has given me, I've been able to inspire people. And I'm grateful for the opportunity that he has given me, including this one. I want to give a special shout out to uh, my mom and dad. I want to say thank you so much. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for challenging me. Thank you for giving me the best with what you have. And I'm grateful that the, the, the lady I am today is because of the work that you have put in and I appreciate you for that. I want to thank my uh, my aunties and my uncles and my cousins. I know you we had several, can't mention names, but thank you, thank you. Uh, your love, your, your support has brought me this far. And I want to thank uh, my friends who have been there cheering me along this journey. I want I don't want to forget my sisters. I know they are watching this. So thank you so much, um, sisters. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your constant support. And how can I forget my community, the people who follow me on social media, the people who have come in the goal sessions. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of the goal session. And uh, I'm amazed when you reach out to me. And I appreciate you today.